Good afternoon, hiya, how are you today? Hope you're feeling brilliant. I am feeling excellent today. And quite apart from anything else, because since I've been in the broom cupboard, there are so many things that I have learned. For example, a couple of weeks ago, we found out what a thingamajig was, and also someone sent in a what's it to show me. Today, in this envelope here, I have something very exciting to show you. Because lurking inside here, by the way, I'll just tell you that it, is, it has been sent in by Andrew Jeans of Oxford. I'll just take off the paper clip. This, are you ready for this? This is going to excite you. Because here we have, inside this envelope, Andrew the Anything. This is what an anything looks like. He's brilliant, isn't he? And he's going he's gonna to keep Dandy, the Andy lookalike company, for the rest of the afternoon. And let me tell you what we've got coming up today, by the way. The album looks at trains at 25 to 5. There's News Round at 5 o'clock. And, of course, the legend of Tim Tyler continues at 10 past 5. However, to start us off with, right at the top of the list, Heathcliff, Cats and Cow. Heathcliff. Do you know, I could be wrong, but I'm sure that I saw... Yes, it was. It was definitely Bobby the Banana on Harry the Genie's shirt just towards the end of Heathcliff, Cats and Go. More from them next week. Now, though, the album. Now look ye here, Stevenson. We both know that a steam engine were invented by Newcomen and Watt, doesn't we? Yeah, but it wasn't me, funny lad, who invented locomotive that successfully pulled past me a trip. Nay, I did just so in 1803, Stevenson. Yeah, you don't need my time in the house. Oh, hello, Jackie. And who's this then? He's Gary. Oh, another of your friends, eh? You come to visit our little collections corner then? Hmm? Mrs. Bumble, there are two strange men dressed in funny clothes out there, arguing. Oh. I can't see no one strange. Are you sure it wasn't Mr Bumble and Mr Sellers? No, they're a Mr Stevenson and a Trevithick, I think his name was. Good heavens, Albie. What's that? just seen Stevenson and Trevithick. Oh, my <gasps> goodness, Mrs Bumble. Then they must have escaped. Out of the album. Oh, well, that's a giveaway, isn't it? I suppose you know what's in the album today, eh? What we're collected for. Yes. You said it was trains, didn't you? Trains. Yes, well, what have you got, then? <laughs> Oh, rail riders, oh, yeah. Lovely. Posters and badges and stickers. Yeah. Well, that's a good start. You got them for the British Rail giveaway, did you? Yeah. We found some old postcards, oh. railway tickets and a railway map. Oh. oh, very good. We can stick all those in an album. Yeah, anything. Bits of paper or, or cards with pictures of trains on. You can yeah. stick in an album to do with trains. I've got yeah. lots of stamps for trains. Oh, then. stamps. They're the best. Stamps with pictures of trains on. We've got loads of those in the album. Oh, yeah. Turn the page, Thelma. Oh, Now, do you know what this, uh, this engine's called here? That's the rocket, isn't it? That's right, that's Stevenson's rocket. And that's Trevithick's engine there. Stevenson and Trevithick, those that's were... That's right, they were the pioneers of the railway. Yeah. No, no, the two strange men out there. What? But they were supposed... Look, let's go through to the album, Thelma, because they're supposed to be through there, not out there. Come on, let's go. Oh, well, there it is, you see. Did were your problem if you'd left the album open, Thelma? No, That's how they got out. Oh, it wasn't me, Thelma. Oh, Never mind, they're back now. Yes, yes, Mr. Stevenson, you may have won the competition last year with your, what was it, firework? Rocket, Trevithick, my rocket won the Liverpool and Manchester competition. Yeah, but your idea of the steam blast engine came from my high pressure engine. Well, why didn't you win the competition then? Because I've been in Peru for 11 years with my engines down the silver mines. Oh, the silver mines? Aye. Oh, I think they're arguing again about who invented what. What on earth does it matter anyway? It's just boyish squabbles. Nice hat, pet. Did you get it in Peru? No. Such strange, I mean, lovely feathers. So, if you went to Peru in 1816, you must have seen my lord before you went. What? You think it was divine intervention that sent me? Oh, no, no. My first locomotive of 1814 was called My Lord. Did six miles an hour in oh. the Killingworth Colliery. And I also bit one called Bluka. What about Puffing Billy and Willem Dilly? Yeah, I don't see. They came before Yoren. But they were William Hedley's engines, that yours. Puffing Billy and Willem Dilly in 1813 both used my principles. But they were stupid names. And they were too heavy for the truck, like yours was. So what? Oh, Billy's and Dilly's, rockets and pockets. Men, trains, trains, trains. They can't talk about anything else. It's a nice fur, Mrs. Stevenson. Squirrel, 
Why no? Pure mink from Colombia. In 1803, 11 years before your stupid blooter and all, my pioneer engine, a steam locomotive called a steam locomotive, pulled a 10 ton load over nine and a half mile in South Wales. You were still a fireman in the pits then, my boy, not an inventor. You should have given it a name, Trevedic. Catch me if you can. Oh, now's not the time to be playing tag, bunny no, lad. No, 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 you jolly twit. I named one of my famous engines that when it was running in Houston Square in 1908. Well, you'll lose again then, Trev. Catch as catch can was good as a circus act. What's the good of a railway that goes round and round in a small circle? Oh, well, I did invent the first locomotive. Yeah, you probably did. Mm. And I just simplified your design. But my locomotion and rocket bunny lad were efficient and economical. The first true locomotives of a long line. Oh, yes, your son Robert. He was in Colombia, was he not? Our Robert, Robert Stevenson. Now he's a canny lad. Says he thinks he'll go into bridges. Mm -hmm. What's your husband into now? Dare. We're penniless. Ah, I thought so. Even on the opening day of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway, you're...